We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready. Get ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get oh, ready. Because this tea is what? Piping hot. So everybody is really mad about the new YouTube changes. Yesterday, this was one of the number one trending topics. People were in their feelings, people were upset, and I didn't want to jump on the story right away. I wanted to just kind of wait for stuff to die down. So if you guys do not know, YouTube is changing their policy, and they're basically saying that under the new eligibility requirements, YouTube channels will not be eligible for monetization unless you meet the following requirements. You have to have at least 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time in the past 12 months. Before, when they changed the policy, you just had to have a total of 10,000 views per video to run ads on them and now youtube is shutting that down and a lot of smiley creators are really upset people are blaming logan paul rightfully so um because he did cause a lot of this drama and they're saying it's not fair because the bigger youtubers are still getting money but this affects us smaller youtubers and it does affect a lot of smaller youtubers that have done nothing wrong but you guys don't see a lot of stuff that happens on the back end it's so much bullshit that happens on the back end that we have to fight against that i for one i stand with this new rule i don't think it's fair that anybody can just come on youtube and get paid to do anything okay you have people who do not do any type of commentary they don't do any type of vlogging all they do is literally sit around all day and free boot other people's um content they free boot things from instagram they don't provide any context they don't provide any commentary you have whole channels right now that literally do nothing but go on to people's instagram pages they do this to everybody from celebrities to the conscious community they'll just go to their instagram page and whatever videos they post on their instagram page they re-upload onto youtube they provide no context no commentary and guess what the ads run on those videos and they make money off of those videos why should they get paid to just free boot shit but then somebody like me who actually goes out researches use clips puts it in context you know it takes time to actually sit and edit and put in work you know what i'm saying for me to make one video can take anywhere from three to eight hours depending on the length of the video just from start to finish in order to bring you guys content those people can literally go to Instagram, download a video in two minutes, re-upload it onto YouTube, and they're making twice as much money as me for doing literally no work. On top of that, we also have bots who do the same thing on YouTube as well, where they're stealing money from bigger content creators, they're downloading their videos, they're re-uploading them, and then they're making money. Keemstar addressed this on um, social media, and what he's saying is true. I've seen bigger channels like his and PewDiePie's and other people's channels get re-downloaded, get re-uploaded, and then these fake channels make the money, and if they get shut down, they just create a new channel. Here he goes talking about it. And I'm gonna to explain to you why. First of all, there's a bot going on that's been going on for two years, nonstop, that constantly rips bigger YouTubers videos, re-uploads them to YouTube on partner channels with ads, trying to make money off of bigger creators and their content. I found out about this like a year ago when I was searching vlog and upload day on YouTube. I would see constantly, constantly, constantly clone channels being created with videos being uploaded every two minutes on these channels, just nonstop a feed, like a bot was running it to milk ad revenue. And not only that, but the ISIS propaganda, that was coming from these small channels as well that could just create a channel out of nowhere, just with no subs, nothing, just put up some ISIS bullshit with ads on it. Also, you have porn videos that are being uploaded with ads on it. So all of them and millions of other really, really small channels can just put ads on any content without any actual like fan base, without any actual like support. And if they break the rules, it doesn't matter because they can just make another goddamn channel. All right, so you guys just saw some of what he had to say. Now, I do believe that a lot of this stems from Logan Paul, but I also feel like YouTube is also using him as a convenient scapegoat. Like, let's keep it real. Like I always tell y'all, YouTube is a business. And from a business standpoint, it costs a lot of money and a lot of, you know, administrative time and effort to sit here and watch every single channel on YouTube, especially these smaller channels. So it just makes more sense to say, if you have a small channel, you have to, you know, if you're really serious about YouTube, 
you have to beat a certain threshold to get paid. I mean, the sense of entitlement that I'm hearing is is just insane. And that's why a lot of us YouTubers who've been here literally from day one, we just don't care about this. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody's entitled to anything. When we started on YouTube, we did this because we had a passion. Many of us were on YouTube putting out videos, giving people advice, making hair videos, doing makeup tutorials, doing all types of things, gaming channels. And we weren't paid a dime for several years, okay? I made partner, I got into the YouTube partnership program, I think about eight months to a year after I came on YouTube. But even though I was in the YouTube partnership program, I didn't really start seeing no real money for at least two to three years. You know, so you have to grind and hustle. If this is your so-called passion, this is what you want to do, put in the damn work, put in the damn effort. Don't think that you should just come on here because you have an opinion about something, you know what I'm saying, you should just get paid. Meanwhile, you have no fan base, no subscribers, nobody knows who you are. You can get on here and just spew any type of bullshit and get some money. You have all of these drama channels that are being created all these beef channels people just beefing with people using other you know using bigger youtubers names you know in their tags and in their um titles just to get attention they're not doing that because they're sincere and they really care they're doing that because they know it's clickbait they know if you see oh i'm about to go at this person or this person versus that person or i can't stand this youtuber they know people are going to come and click on it you know what i'm saying and as long as you click on it as long as you go to that channel they get paid why should they get paid for that? So I think I think this is good. This is going to clean up house. This is going to show who's really here to be a, a legitimate YouTuber, to legitimately put in work, and who's just here to create drama and chaos and to get paid. It's funny that when we went through the demonetization a few months ago, where YouTube came and demonetized basically everybody's channel, we had to start over from scratch, and that's when a lot of us, you know, started our Patreons, you know, to make it over that hump, because I literally had to submit over 2,000 videos to YouTube to, you know, to go through, reapprove. Even though that was over six months ago, they're still going through the approval process. I'm still getting yay and nay on every video that I submitted to them. You know what I'm saying? We've lost a good amount of revenue, but that's okay. Even yesterday, those four videos I put up yesterday, only two of them were approved for monetization. The other ones were denied. You know what I'm saying? I have so many videos that get denied for monetization. I get so many videos that get blocked, get banned worldwide. But guess what? I'm still making content. I'm still putting stuff out there for y'all. Why? Because this is my passion. This is what I do this is what I love and you guys love it so my thing is if you're really passionate about this and you're really passionate about being a youtuber and you're really serious about this there's no way that getting a thousand subscribers getting four thousand hours worth of watch time you know what I'm saying and having at least a thousand ten thousand views per video should affect you if you're serious you're going to grind you're going to put in the work just like many of us did you know what I'm saying we didn't just get up on YouTube and start making money a lot of us grind for years before we saw anything you know what I mean and I think that the money should go towards people who actually create content. I think the worst thing that YouTube ever did was make their monetization available to everybody. If you guys remember the golden days of YouTube and you had to, you know, actually make decent content, good content. I don't care if you were doing sketch comedy. I don't care if you had a cooking channel, if you were doing, you know, a hair channel. You had to actually put in work and make good content to make it into their partnership program. And they were very selective at that time. But then what happened? People started crying and whining and saying it's not fair, you know why do only a select few get to be partners so then at that point YouTube rolled out the partnership program to any and everyone and that's when we got the wild wild west of YouTube this is where you got a lot of these click baiting uh channels where they would put boobs in the thumbnails then it went from that to you know these horrible prank channels where they would go to the hood and prank black people and get their reaction I'm joking I'm joking stop 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 Yo, run your oh, God, and then once black people got smart, we're like, oh no, this is a prank. We're not playing that. Get out of Brooklyn. Then what they started doing was paying people for their reaction. Okay. Then you had people making black people seem like they were a lot worse than what they were. They were paying these black folks a hundred bucks to appear in their videos. Meanwhile, Oct TV and a bunch of all these other idiots, they were making millions of dollars off of these fake prank videos. Okay. 
Then it went from these fake prank videos. Then it went from that to all these Viners coming here, you know, with their crazy antics and their crazy stunts. And then we had the birth of like the Logan Pauls and, and people trying to emulate his channel and do the most outrageous stuff just to get views, just to get clicks. You literally have a whole sector of YouTube willing to sell their soul for followers, for subscribers, for views and for money. So that's why I'm personally happy about this new thing that YouTube is doing. If you really want to be a YouTuber and you really want to put in the work, you'll do that. You know what I'm saying? Nobody owes you anything. And I think they messed up when they made monetization available to any and everybody because you had people come out the woodwork and they took full advantage of that shit. You literally have whole channels right now that are created off of freebooting other people's content. You never see these people behind these channels. You never see their commentary. You never see anything. They literally freeboot other people's information 24 seven and they've been able to garner, you know, fans and subscribers and everything else. People who have lazy ass channels, you know what I'm saying, who are dry as fuck, who nobody's checking for, you know, who can't get over, you know, 100, 200 subscribers, then YouTube is not the place for you. You know what I'm saying? Stop thinking you can quit your job and then jump on YouTube and then become the next millionaire. Those days have long since passed. That ship has sailed, okay? Unless you're actually putting in work, you're not going to get paid like that. And I YouTube and I for one I'm glad that they made this rule and I'm glad that they're cleaning up house it's really going to show y'all who was really here because they really cared about what they were talking about because they really cared about you guys getting to know them because they really cared about their content if they're willing to shut down their entire channel because they only have 2,000 subscribers and they don't have enough views and it's too much work that lets you know they weren't serious anyways they was just here because they was able to get paid no matter how good or how bad their content was Put in the time, put in the effort, put in the energy like we all did, okay? We all started from the bottom. We all started with zero subscribers. We all started with zero views. We all started at the same playing field, but some of us had more passion than others. Some of us chose to grind more than others. Some of us chose to take classes and learn how to edit and learn how to really do stuff. We actually put work and energy and time into our content. And when you look at a channel like mine where I started almost, you know, eight, nine years ago to where my channel is now, hell, I don't put in the work. So why should somebody get paid just as much as we get paid? And then I have videos that are banned. I have videos that get demonetized, but then somebody else can just free boot a bunch of shit or just, you know, start drama, start nonsense and, and then get paid just because their channel is monetized. I'm glad that they're demonetizing a lot of channels. Unfortunately, it's going to affect a lot of good people who are not here to start drama, who are not here free booting. But again, if you're serious about YouTube, then you would just put in the work. You know what I mean? Stop with this entitled attitude. There was a time when there was no monetization on YouTube there were no ads on YouTube okay there was a time you had to get into the partnership program before you could get money and like I said even once you got into the partnership program that didn't guarantee you anything you still had to make good content you still had to have a personality you still had to have people rock with you so if you're really serious about YouTube you would do that you would do what you have to do to get those views to get those subscribers coming and everything else and then for the people who aren't making YouTube videos now, here's where I have to hold you all accountable. If you guys really like somebody's channel, if you're really rocking with them, this is why it's very important to subscribe to them, to watch their videos, to watch the full thing. If you cannot support them on Patreon, you can't support them, you know, financially, monetarily, that's fine. But support them with your views, support them with your likes, support them with your shares. If it's somebody that you really stand behind and you really like their message, subscribe to them, really show them support. Because at this point in time, those smaller channels, they really need your support. But yeah, I agree with YouTube. It's, it's too much nonsense and y'all don't see the stuff that goes on on the back end. Y'all just see the new rules and y'all complain you know even with the whole demonetization situation yeah you know I was upset a lot of us were upset but at the end of the day this is their site they can do what they want to do and at any point in time if anybody's truly tired of it then they can leave you know what I'm saying that's myself included you know but at the end of the day I, I personally agree with this new rule because there's so much nonsense that's going on and I know it can also be frustrating because it seems like the main person who caused all of this um, you know, even with YouTube punishing him and taking him out of that, you know, elite Google ad revenue share, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, this man made millions of dollars off of this site for doing nothing more than foolishness. He made $12.5 million last year. So do you really think he's pressed? Even if they were to delete his entire channel, he's made money to literally, you know, last him some generational wealth, okay? Um, so with that also being said, I would also advise anybody trying to get into YouTube or, you know, who really wants to get into this, keep your day job. You know what I'm saying? Keep working your, your 
part-time job, keep something, you also have to have multiple hustles. Nobody should be joining YouTube in 2018 thinking they're going to be the next Logan Paul or thinking they're about to be millionaires. You have to have multiple side hustles. You know, I would suggest keeping a job. Even like with my channel, I did with demonetization all the time. You know, I showed you the videos that were, you know, I put up yesterday, all the hard work, all the editing I put into that stuff. I'm not making a dime off those videos, but that doesn't matter because I feel like the content is needed. I enjoy creating the content. You guys enjoy watching it. So I'm going to keep doing that. So to supplement that, I do other things. I have other hustles. I'm a freelance editor. I do a lot of freelance work. You know what I'm saying? Graphic design work. I do a lot of things on the side besides just YouTube. So that's the thing. If you want to be a creative person and work for yourself, you have to grind and grind and grind. There are some nights I'm up till four in the morning just working. You know what I'm saying? Nothing comes easy. So you have to put in the work. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't just sit there and depend on Patreon. You can't just sit there and depend on just donations. You can't just sit there and depend on YouTube because the same people who are supporting you on Patreon and, and PayPal and stuff like that, they may lose their job. Their incomes might change. They may not be able to support you. So you should always have multiple streams of revenue. So that way when YouTube makes changes, it's like, okay, well, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We still going to be okay. The bills are still going to get paid. So that's the thing. I just think that in this day and age, nobody should just be depending on one source of income to sustain their lifestyle. You have to have multiple sources of income. You got to have multiple hustles, multiple jobs and everything else. So that's just keeping all the way real. If you still want to be a YouTuber, go for it. Don't let these changes deter you because if you're really serious about it, you're going to put in the work and the effort. Point blank period. This gold rush is over. Okay. It's gone. Okay, go, go to plumber school. You'll do better there. Trust me. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button. And make sure you click that bell so you can be down with the notification squad, honey. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.